never thought we'd be the first boat out here. Guys, good morning. It is day number two. We got the posse. We got Casey. We got Zach again. If you watched yesterday's video, I would highly recommend if you haven't, you go back and watch it. Yesterday's conditions were a lot tougher than today. It was windy. It was cool. It just wasn't happening. It was a pretty slow day overall for, for everybody, but we did manage to scratch up the giant at the end. But today is completely different. No wind, warm, sunny. So what, what what's going to be the plan today, Zach? Uh, today, man, uh, these fish have got to be moving up. There, we, we checked a lot of bedding areas yesterday, and um, some of the some of the shallow coves where we traditionally catch fish on beds, and they hadn't uh, they hadn't they weren't on beds yesterday. They must have just moved off of that cold front, and so we're gonna go back in the same areas where we didn't really catch much yesterday, but. They'll move up throughout the day. I think with the full moon and every all the conditions today, um, we should be in for a lot of fish and it should just get better as the day goes on. I like everything Zach just said, so are we gonna run to the other end? Yeah, we're gonna run back to where you caught your big fish last night and uh, where we ended, we finally got on got on a little bit of a bite in those bushes. Yeah. And uh, we'll start there and then we'll, we'll work our way back. We're gonna have to get some gas because we did a lot of running yesterday. It, it felt more like we, we weren't fishing as much as we were just on a boat journey. Lots of boat journeys yesterday. All right, we're gonna go. It's about a 20 minute ride, so meet us there. We got to this spot. Looks like this is what we're gonna be throwing today. This is a uh, Sanko. It's a wacky worm. Set up on a wacky worm, right? Wacky worm hook, yeah. So we're going to be tossing this into the shallows. Hopefully the fish have moved into their beds or are getting close to. First fish of the day for Zach. Attack. Yeah. Yeah, nice fish. I get skunked. We didn't get skunked. Yes, sir. A little buck mail. Yeah. Did he mouth it? He did something. Can you see him? Cannot see him. Yeah, he's right there by it. He just turned around on it. He's nosing up to it. He's right on it. Swim over it. Oh, he's on yours. Let's get him. Let's get him. It's kind of addictive to do this. It's really kind of stupid too at the same time. Because you waste so much time on it. A single fish. Yeah. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Dude, it's a female. We pitched at that girl for what, 10 minutes? Yeah. And we finally made her mad enough to eat it. Oh, yeah. Nice bass. Yeah. Growing on it. <laughs> Closers. Getting a little western in here. Dude, he was swimming at me. That's a little... We're at 10, baby. 
baby. Number 10. You may qualify for smallest fish of the day. That's all I'm shooting for, bro. Of the day, right here. Here we go. Well, it's been a pretty darn good day so far. A good start to the day, anyways. We, uh, what, 12 fish of the boat now? Uh, 13, I think. 15? 13. 13 fish of the boat. Started out a lot better than yesterday. It's getting hot though. It's supposed to be 80 plus degrees. So. running away from me with it. Nah. Yeah. Damn it. Good one. Felt good. Probably eight. That's the hardest when they hammer it and run straight away. Dude, he wants to go to the depths. This one right there. He's got one. Oh, that's a good one. That boy. Damn, that's a good fish, man.
Fish on. Dink. Giant Woo! Maybe they are. It's not coming up. It's a better one. You gotta get in the net. It's it's probably three pounds. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's going in the box. Did he eat that? Yeah. Expect anything less here in Texas. You guys are all very proud of being from Texas, huh? Might as well be. It's the greatest state in the world. <laughs> so we just ran across the lake. We've been having a lot of luck. Sounds like the other boats are struggling today. But uh, we've caught 20 fish now. We're gonna go to the back of this cove and see if we can find some more. Nice fish, Zach. Ooh. Nice bass. I'll hold that, you go to the bank. No, 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 go to the bank, go to the bank. I'm gonna drag her up there. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, Dang. We just stopped to get some gas and some drinks and we saw those two giants on the bed. Zach just caught one. We're gonna take the boat around and go try to catch the other one. The other one looks to be 10 pounds. Ain't it? Four, eight, five, four, no eight, two. No way. Dang, I thought it was a six pound fish. 4.8, still a giant. 4.8! Yeah. No, you got a fish too. <laughs> nice work. It's not a bad little fish, dude. Oh, that's a boxer. Heck yeah. Good one. Good one. Ah, not that good. <laughs> Here, I'll look at you. Come blow up on it right at the boat. It's a big fish. 
all do. You ready, Zach? It's a wiper. It's a wiper. I thought that was a freaking giant bass. Did you see him? Yeah. Your bait, like when he blew up on it? No, I just saw him blow up on you. Literally, was, I was trying to get ahead of you and he was right there. a striper. We're going to eat him. It's been phenomenal so far. Caught probably 35 bass. Some decent ones. I caught my first striper ever. We're going to eat him, which I'm super excited about. Tonight's the annual, annual fish fry on this trip, so everyone brings their fish from trips past, and if any stripers are caught, then we eat those as well, so I'm going to be able to uh, and bring my own meat, per se. Back? We're still trying to catch that double digit bass though. I think it's gonna happen. We have today, uh, a couple hours today, tomorrow, and then Monday. So, cross your fingers with us. Double digits, 10. But, uh, they do it. In fact, they can, they can. All right, Jace is cleaning some fish. We caught a striper today, caught some sand bass today, and then I think we have like some redfish. Bunch of other fish, like I said, from previous trips, but getting ready to fry them up. Pretty excited about this. Mark the uh, fryer chef is what I've been hearing. <laughs> what do we got going on? Oh, cooking some fries. Fix the cook some fish. <laughs> so we're gonna go fries and we'll do the fish in this same thing? Uh, well, I was gonna do them in that other one, but I might end up having to do them in this one. So what's the secret of, of frying a good fish? Well, you gotta get the grease to about 350. Do you batter them at all before? Uh, cornmeal. Cornmeal. Uh, get them where they're floating good and get them as brown as you like them. And there's really not much to it. I gotta try to fry it. They look amazing. Wow, perfect. Huh? It tastes like Arby's fries. They're amazing. They look like they have a little seasoning on them. Crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. Mm. Too soft in the middle? No. And then that's all our fish. So you just got straight cornmeal in there? Yeah, straight cornmeal. Alright, we got the first batch of fish done. We gotta try one. We have a mixed bag. There's a bunch of different kinds of fish in here, but that looks restaurant style. It's amazing. Mark, good work on these fish. Wow, well, thank you. Let's try one out. Oh my gosh. They're so good. 